Hey everybody, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. I am Lina with Ape Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to be using the pen extension with the Makey Makey extension. So basically what we're going to do is use our Makey Makey as our controller to be able to draw. So we're going to do something similar to the uh, Edge a Sketch uh, game that used to be out there. It's a little red tablet looking thing but it's not digital, it's just a little tablet that you have two little knobs and you move them and you can sketch something on it. But for this one, we're going to move, use more than two little knobs because obviously we're using the Makey Makey. But it's the same idea, it'll let you draw a sketch on the screen. So if you are interested in that, stick around and uh, like always, don't forget to like us, comment and uh, give us a thumbs up. Alright, let's get started with our demo. So let's go ahead and explain to you guys what we did over here. So this grape wire is our ground, so you make sure you guys touch that. Because if you don't touch that, you will not complete the circuit. And I've connected every one of our inputs that we have coded. So if you see all the arrows are connected, here are the arrows. And then we have the space bar right here. And then the W goes under the board, because that's where the input for the W and the other letters are. So if you're going to be playing with those letters, they're on the bottom. Make sure you use a wire and then an alligator clip. Or whatever you have and then just connect it to something that's conductive i just played on this case so let's go ahead and get started so this one will make our character grow up so we'll go character to the right let's make him go down and then let's go left and now let's do our circle and remember we had this bonus one where we Put our space this is what our bonus would do it would just give us that space so that we can actually continue writing somewhere else on the screen and that's it guys let's go ahead and get started with our code <laughs> so for your difficulty level this uh specific tutorial slash program that we're building it somewhat needs the knowledge of you being able to know how to use Scratch and its angles and how to manipulate angles so that you can kind of uh, know how to point your sprite. And the estimated time is about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. It's not going to take that long. Now here are the skills that we're going to be teaching you today. We're going to teach you how to use the pen extension, how to use the Makey Makey and the motion blocks and also the event block. In this project, you'll do it with... Uh, Six simple steps plus a bonus step if you want to add it, that's up to you. Step number one, we're going to go ahead and add the pen extension. All right guys, so let's get started with step number one. We're going to go ahead and click on the bottom left side over here of your screen. And there, you're going to go ahead and grab the pen extension. And as you can see, once the pen extension is added to your project, you're going to see all these different blocks right here. And then your pen uh, logo on the bottom. For step number two, we're going to go ahead and add the Makey Makey extension. All right, so for adding the Makey Makey extension now, we click on that bottom left again, and then we go find the Makey Makey extension. And now with the Makey Makey, you get these two blocks, but they give you a lot of different keys in there that you can use that are part of your Makey Makey. And for those of you who don't have a Makey Makey, you can always use your keyboard on your on your device on your computer to be able to control this so it's not a requirement that you have a makey makey and this one's also for special kind of things that you want to do special combos step number three this is the initial step of our code here we're going to add uh, the clearing of our canvas and the uh, position of our sprite so this is the code we're going to add to our scratch all right, so now we're going to go ahead and add our initial code. First, we're going to go to our stage or our backdrops. Just click on that. And if you guys want to add color to it, go ahead. Don't add too much of a complicated background because you're going to be drying, so you don't want it to look too overcrowded. But you can add some color to it. I'm not. I'm just going to click on my stage area, which is right here on the stage area. Click on it. And that will get you to the code area of the stage. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead to go to the events, get that flag, and then go to our pen and get the erase all. 
So as you can notice, we only have the erase all option when we're on our stage. And that's because our stage usually doesn't move. So it doesn't require all the other stuff. And basically what we're doing here is erasing our canvas every time we click on the start flag up here. So when you click on that flag, we want the canvas or the background here to be erased of whatever we drew. So now let's go ahead and go to our sprite. And we're going to go ahead and I like to always move it where I want it first because then it'll give me the coordinates. So we're going to go ahead and get the flag. And with your character wherever you want it, position wise, you go ahead and go to motion. And in there, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our character is facing 90 degrees every time we start our program. And this is the location where I want my character. And if you notice, this ca these coordinates here, the X and the Y, are based on what, what the character is at right now. So if I were to move it, then the value of those X and Y changes here. So that's why I always like to move my character where I kind of want that character and then just get those coordinates from here instead of having to look here and go, oh, okay, let me go type those in. I just get them from, I put that character there and I just grab what I need. Let's put that code up here. Step number four, we're going to go ahead and control the uh, vertical line. I'm drawing vertical lines, the up and down. And this is the code you guys will be putting in there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add the uh, writing up and down uh, motion for our character. So we're able to write vertically. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go to the Makey Makey extension block area. We're going to grab one of these guys. I'm going to put it right here. And then when it's, I'm going to use the up arrow for writing up. And then we're going to go to the pen extension and we're going to go ahead and use the, the pen down extension. It is important that you put the pen down extension because if you don't, your character will actually not write anything on the canvas here. Because that's the pen down means put the pen down on the canvas. That's basically what it means. And then we're going to go ahead and point our character in the up direction. So to do that, I do a point in direction and I move this to zero degrees so that when I move the character with the up arrow, the character will face up. And then all I have to do is now move. And I'm moving by 10 by the, by the default 10. You can change that depending on how you want your character to do stuff. So let's give it a quick try. I'm using my keyboard for now, but if you see, if I click any of the other arrows, it doesn't do anything other than move up with the up arrow. Now let's go ahead and make a duplicate of that by right clicking and doing a duplicate. And then we're going to go ahead and change that to down arrow. And we're going to point our character in the 180 degree um, position. Now let's give that a try. So. Let's uh, stop it and then let's do it again. Like you see, it clear our canvas and our characters back to our initial position. So if I go like that or like go like this, the character is going to go ahead and write up or down. And that's basically what this up arrow and down arrow do for now. Step number five, this is going to be drawing the horizontal line. So going this way. You could go that way or this way, left to right. And uh, that's the code that you guys will be putting in there. All right, now let's go ahead and add the ability to write to, uh, from left to right or right to left. So basically horizontally this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate another one of these guys because the idea is very similar. But we're going to be choosing the left arrow. Pen has to be down. And we're going to go ahead and point our character into a negative, one eight, well, negative 90 when we go to the left. And then we're just going to move 10 steps. And in my code, I had this up like this. It really doesn't matter which way you put him. But I think it's best if we turn our character first and then move it. 
So we're gonna leave it like this. So we're gonna do another duplicate of that. We're gonna go to the right in this case. We're gonna go to the right, so we're gonna have to point our character to a 90 degree angle. And there you go. So now let's go ahead and start the program again and see if it does right down left so as you can see you can control your character and be writing while going up down left and look at that i made little stairs so the whole point of etch a sketch is that you don't actually um get to it's like writing draw sketching on a pens on a paper without moving your pencil it's kind of the same idea step number six is drawing circles so you have to be able to at least somehow give curves so by drawing circles you can give your sketch some sort of curves and this is a code that we're going to be using all right so our next step is to go ahead and draw circles so we want to allow our character to not only do kind of like 90 degree square like figures you want it to also do curve like figures so we're gonna go ahead and go to our makey makey extension we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy and this one's slightly different because we're gonna use uh turning degrees so i'm gonna put it to the w for now and uh so for those of you who do want to work with the makey makey the letters are these ones that are available. I'm using just W because it's the first one on the list. Let's go ahead and get the pen down. And then we're gonna move. So we kind of want to move uh, to do a circle first. We're gonna move a little to make the, the line. And then we're gonna turn our degrees. And uh, let me show you how that works now. So basically when you click the W, so first, I'm going to add a little space and put him on the center. Now, when you press the letter W, it'll go around and make circles. So it'll only make the circle if you keep pressing the letter W. So for example, let's say I'm drawing something and I kind of wanted a curve. See, okay, you are allowed to be able to do curves because you can now make curves with your letter W because you are drawing that circle if you keep pressing it. So it lets you do curve like objects so that allows you to do more of a curvy style object now your bonus step is something that is not offered in the actual etch a sketch game or the or little thing that you buy but i thought it would be cool where you actually are able to move your character in, in this case our sprite and um, not draw so that you can move and create spaces and create different things you want. So now let's go ahead and go with our uh, bonus step. So this one is not in the HA sketch uh, device. And by device, I mean it's like literally a little box that has some sort of magnetic thing inside, dust that you draw. And um, it won't let you skip to make spaces so that you can draw things without connecting. So I'll show you what I mean by spaces. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead to go to Makey Makey. And for this one, I'm just going to use the space. And instead of pen uh, down, we're going to use pen up. So whenever I use touch the space bar, or the space on the makey makey then I wanted to go ahead and move 10 steps so let's give that a try so let's say I am drawing a little I don't know castle right or obviously I am not an artist and then I want to move that way without drawing so I just press my spacebar, and as you saw, it didn't draw anything on the screen. It just moved. So now I want to draw a little door here. So 
that's the bonus. It lets you do spaces between what you're drawing so that you can kind of create, gives you more liberty of writing, drawing what you can or want to do without connecting everything together. All right, guys, so here uh, we taught you guys how to use the Makey Makey with the pen extension and draw your own or create your own uh, etch a sketch idea. So you can use your character to draw anything on the screen by controlling it with your Makey Makey or for those of you who don't have a Makey Makey with your keyboard. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, please don't forget to like us, subscribe to our channel and uh, leave your comments below. Thank you so much guys for sharing with us and for joining us. See you in the next one.